So our project is called Creating Art in the Community, an Interdisciplinary Approach. And we really approach this project trying to engage the community of Athens in a way that breaks down a lot of barriers. So one of those barriers being the us and them dynamic that's kind of in the music scene right now where there's a performer on stage and the audience and then there's this separation between the two. So we wanted to kind of break down that barrier and make it more of a collaborative effort where the audience is just as much a part of the performance as the performer. Um, most people don't realize that Athens County is actually the second poorest county in Ohio. And um, there's definitely something special about this community. As we've been working on um, trying to not only just go out and perform and bring this um, Mu like classical music into the community, but we're also trying to make it something where we can empower and bring um, different um, members of the College of Fine Arts and also working with um, making just the um, whole ordeal more just relatable for the audience. I mean, it's, it's one thing to go out and just perform. Um, it's another thing to make it something that the audience can really grasp. Um, and you know, it's great for us too because um, again, it's one thing to go sit down on a piano and play, it's another thing to actually um, get to talk a little bit about your piece, um, really make it um, more, of an ex more of an experience for both you and the um, audience. Our project um, is unique in the sense that we bring our music to our audiences. Instead of having our audiences come to us, it's unique in the sense that it bridges the audience performer divide or the us-them. By bringing our music into the community, we invite them to be more personally active and engaged with the music. We're encouraging personal reflections like poetry, photography, even just conversation. And I, in that way, I think we reach a wider audience. So for our project at the library, um, we reached out in October to schedule this event and we decided to use the music of our WC concert. And we decided that for our interdisciplinary section of the program, our focus was going to be on poetry and language. So before we performed our music, um, we spoke to the audience and we just said to write down any thoughts or phrases they had um, as they heard each different piece. And then at the end of the concert, we would be talking with them and just wanting to hear their ideas. I wanted to just take a minute and ask if like, you had any thoughts or things you wrote down that you wanted to share. I feel like Debussy's music is very joyful. Mm -hmm. It just flows and flows and Rivery Dream was beautiful. Um, well, I'll say a couple of words. I, I, first of all, I would say I was delighted with the performance. The, the first one I, I thought was very impressionistic and lush, uh, romantic, mm -hmm. harmonic is the word that come to mind. But, a lot of very flashy flourishes that uh, were uh, almost riffs, almost in a jazz sense, that were, looked like it was great fun to play. I, I'm just kind of thinking about images. Mm -hmm. And so um, air expanding, light slides down, slide, slide, slides slowly down a slope of bright white snow. Two ladders. Yeah, I don't, there's just so much stuff in your eyes. <laughs> uh, all of these imaginations. I just had pictures of butterflies out the field of heather and all these butterflies flitting about and being mm -hmm. caught by the breeze. And so I was concentrating on that one, and I listened to the others and enjoyed them. Mm -hmm. But that's the one I was concentrating on. Um, I think at first we weren't really sure what kind of response we would get. Um, you know, we play our music a lot, so we're always really familiar with what we hear, but um, I think we were all very surprised and even energized um, by what people were saying about the music. There were just so many different words and phrases, um, all from different perspectives, and then different with each piece, which I thought was, it was just so fascinating to me just allowed there to be conversation and connection between students and across generations and really allowing all of the, the opportunities to be available regardless of the backgrounds of the community members. Um, and they just kept saying how thankful they were that we were able to come 
and how they hoped we could do more events there in the future and they just wanted to know more about um, the music we were doing and how we could bring that to them. So that was very exciting for us and exactly what we're hoping to do with this project. So we are trying to create this huge web of um, partnerships that then we can take and advocate for each other and show how like art is multifaceted and um, can like serve many purposes in the community and like bring people together through that. But then on a larger scale, I think we're going to be seeing a lot more of this in the music community, helping those less fortunate and it's going to take shape in a number of ways. And I really think that having this groundwork can help all of us go forth and produce this somewhere else and make an impact in other communities. I think um, this project is really just the start um, of community outreach and um, getting us more out there. I think what we learn from this project, we can carry with us as we graduate and go to different cities and different places. Um, and continue focusing on music outreach there. For here in Athens, I think um, it's like the start of bridges, um, like connecting the library with the College of Music and um, just making those initial connections so that uh, we can continue this relationship in the years to come. So we have a weekly meeting and when like we have the the opportunity to just be together, sit and talk about our ideas and not just about like classes and you know like normal work, but we like, have that little time to just be creative and try to have uh, an impact on our community and I think that's also uh, an ideal opportunity whenever you are in an academic environment and, and that could like give more impact to our profession and our, our activity make it more um, accessible for other people and also making it uh, meaningful um, beyond the classroom mm -hmm. so beyond our practice time beyond our teaching time so actually like have that contact with reality just talking and that just happens like every week and we have come up with so many great mm. things <laughs> we have fun like we talk about other things but it's just we sit and we have that moment of creativity together and that's something that can't happen other way mm -hmm. it's so very that's, organic mm -hmm. yeah. the first nursing home we went to Lindley and mm -hmm. yeah, yeah Lindley yeah. yeah um like that was kind of a trial run and we were still figuring out how that was gonna go <laughs> and like how the residents were gonna respond. And so we brought them, this was like one of my favorite parts and the more I reflect on it, the more I'm like, oh, I love that they did that. Um, we took them the printed out pieces yeah. of artwork mm -hmm. in color and we were just gonna like pass them around to show them, to show the residents while we were playing and like let them see what inspired WC. Like mm -hmm. some of these paintings or like what was happening at that time. And so, like, we're passing them around, and the residents, some were, like, really sharp, and, you know, they were, like, responding to the music and, like, asking questions about France and about um, WC and, mm -hmm. like, the piano, how long have we played the piano? And some of them were, like, folding up the paintings <laughs> and putting them in their pockets. <laughs> and at first I was like, they're stealing. And then I was like, no, they're, think they're doing that because they want to remember us being there, it. and they, like... Are relating us to mm. being there and um, like how memorable that experience was for them and like yeah some of them were snoozing and snoring the whole time and that's just like the nature but that's I think also really important to recognize that like you're not gonna meet everyone like with the music or like with the project mm. but if you can just meet a couple people then it's so worth it like in the beginning whenever we were still trying to figure out like what was our project gonna be for this year and we were all jotting like throwing out these ideas and I was like, oh, we're never going to decide on anything because everyone is like pulled in so many different directions. And then the very next meeting, we just like figured out how to make it all work together. And it was because we were like considering all these different disciplines and like mm -hmm. trying to make it a cumulative project 
um, and like trying to make it like a web in our community. And that's why I like, I'm still so proud of our title because it is like, it perfectly encapsulates what our project is. I think music can like give us that opportunity to actually be connected mm -hmm. like yeah. more yeah. meaningful yeah but it's not a program of like 18 different composers and they're like i don't know what to latch on to like mm -hmm. we're giving That's them true. artistic yeah. context like yeah. dance forms to latch on to mm -hmm. in the in the form and um i feel like That's part of the reason that mm -hmm. this was successful too, is because we like narrowed it down, we broke it down, mm -hmm. and that's like, yeah, it's accessible, and yeah, that's, that's the goal. also, yeah, that's exactly yeah. Right. right. That's the goal is yeah. to take it from that concert hall to <clears throat> something where you know everyone can right. gain something. Yeah, mm -hmm. exactly. Mm -hmm. I feel like we learned it was easier than we thought. Yeah. I mean, once you made the initial right. connections, yeah. then it, you know you just show up and you just play your music, mm -hmm. which is really what it should be. Yeah. So. Mm -hmm. um, I think that was encouraging to me, and I think, you know, as we continue this project, it'll just be easier and it'll just be more yeah. natural. Like, oh yes, yeah. I want to go and I want to go share yeah. my music, yeah. and yeah. Yeah. just inviting people into that. So, yeah. 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 I think too with providing our students, like bringing our students into it next year, mm -hmm. like collaborating with the school of dance. Like, how mm -hmm. cool would it be for that a student so to work awesome. on a piece yeah. and then say, okay, now you're going to rehearse with this dancer and work together and have, teach them how to collaborate mm -hmm. and to create, you know music and mm -hmm. dance together I think yeah. that would be another neat that's idea awesome. yeah that's a good idea mm -hmm. so <clears throat> and like taking the kids out to the community and stuff too like mm -hmm. anything else they're involved in they're usually doing a lot of activities mm -hmm. and music a lot of times I feel like you just go to music lessons and then maybe you'll have a recital or you'll have a competition here or there mm -hmm. you know with taking them out in the community and collaborating with the different arts and everything it's kind of helps them feel more involved feel like they're more a part of something within mm -hmm. music too yeah, yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. I think the goal one of the goal could be like trying to get set dates with our students mm -hmm. yeah. to give yeah. them yeah. the opportunity to mm -hmm. play for others and to feel the the thing that we yeah. have felt yeah. like it's so right. amazing to have the 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 communication after the concert like mm -hmm. looking at the person mm -hmm. and say oh i love this yeah and we maybe we think oh they didn't play that well yeah they just appreciate all the things like the color yeah. of the music yeah. or this gesture like yeah. mm -hmm. we don't know what people are gonna think about the piece until we actually listen to what they right. say. Well, I think the whole idea of performance is that we're supposed to be like sharing, we're giving back. Mm -hmm. And so if we set up this culture where we're mm -hmm. giving back to the community mm -hmm. and we're encouraging our students to give back to mm -hmm. their community, then it's just kind of like changing the way that we approach our instrument yeah. and, yeah, our, and our field. Yeah. I feel very excited of like looking at the product, like how we are, have changed after the project. Uh, in the way that we are, we know that what we do, like, um, cares, yeah. like, and like yeah. other people cares about what we do. Mm -hmm. Like, we know, we can actually feel our impact uh, even di more directly, like, normally. And we mm -hmm. spend so much time just practicing the piano or other instruments and going to classes and we forget what is actually the purpose of being a musician mm -hmm. so what is the role that we have in society and then so when we actually have that feedback we i think we like we want to get that mm -hmm. again mm -hmm. yeah, yeah. And, and now that we had to talk well with these people at the nursing home with, with these people at the library and the people at the art center like we have to go outside and like just show ourselves mm -hmm. not just playing the piano but talking and mm -hmm. uh, just getting things on the calendar Sending emails, mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> like doing those, all those things are, are so important. Mm -hmm. So they're also par also part of our profession. Mm -hmm. And sometimes I don't know. I I have the feeling, maybe my experience, that we are not exactly aware of that. Mm -hmm. So this interdisciplinary thing made us also be interdisciplinary in our lives.